Hey everybody, I'm Jack with Future Pastimes, and I'm a designer on Dune-themed games and expansions. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of a Dune-themed Etsy uh, kind of custom expansion and upgraded components. Uh, and this is from Zoltan's Etsy store, and there's a link in the description. And I've done a couple of other reviews of some stuff from his Etsy store, so check out those. Today we're going to be looking at his uh, Tech Tokens expansion. Um, so I'm going to start off by, these are the actual Tech Tokens from the Ixians and Tlilaxu expansion. Um, so it's cardstock. Uh, this is how big they are. Um, it explains, uh, you know, what the tech is, uh, the highliners, and uh, the colors match the faction that would start with this tech token, if that faction is in the game. So if the Ixians are in the game, they'll start with the Highliners. If the Fremen are in the game, they'll have spice production. And if the Tleilax are in the game, they'll have the Axolotl tanks. Um, and the backs have just sort of a generic thing. And that's for randomizing which faction is going to get the tech token if uh, more than one of these factions is not in the game. So it'll be Storm Order after the storm moves. They get assigned to those factions who will start with them. And uh, you can check out the rules on how tech tokens work. Um, but we take a look at these are the ones that come in his Etsy store. So he's got these, and these are from a sort of a, uh, pressed composite. Uh, it's pretty nice uh, quality. Uh, they're pretty much the, exactly the same size. Uh, they're very similar in uh, color, so it's not exactly the same. Um, the, uh, the Fremen one's probably the closest, uh, and the details on them are slightly different. So if we look at the Exlotl tanks from the official expansion, uh, it says uh, Revival Phase, and it also says that Tlilaxu uh, does not trigger on uh, the Etsy version here. Uh, it says Revival Phase, um, and then there's a little here, a little symbol for who doesn't trigger it, and it's the faction symbol. So give you another example of that if we look at the Spice Production one, uh, Chome Phase, Chome Charity, and then you can see the little Bene Gesserit symbol there for that's who does not trigger it. If they get Ch Chome Charity, this tech token if they're the only ones who get it, this tech token does not trigger. Um, but this particular one, in addition to coming just with different versions of those, uh, it comes with a lot of new, uh, basically fan-made, or fan-designed, some of which designed by uh, Zoltan himself, uh, uh, by all accounts, um, two that I uh, like and that I have been endorsing are uh, the tariffs, which start with Chome. So it lets you know Chome starts with them, and it lets you know that the Emperor, the Emperor is the only one who buys a treachery card in the bidding phase. Uh, it would not trigger the tariffs, but they, they will probably get triggered um, all the time. And then the miniaturization starts with the Richess. And here it's it's got, there's no phase, because this one can't earn anything. There's no specific uh action that triggers it. Uh, but the idea is that if you have another tech token, you get a spice every time it triggers, but you get one spice for each tech token you control. And if you have three or more tech tokens, it counts as having a stronghold, occupying a stronghold. So I like these. I've actually updated the effect on this so that uh, it starts with the rich S, um, but it actually does trigger if they sell a black market card. So it would be advanced, an advanced rule only. Um, so I'm, I'm going to try to uh, persuade uh, Zoltan to get me a uh, slightly different version of it. I don't know if he'll just change this altogether. Uh, that's going to be up to him. Uh, but that's what I want to get in my particular set. And then he's done even more. So it's the point now where every faction basically has one that they can start with. Although the rules that come with it don't recommend that everyone has it. It's probably... Uh, five would be a good number because it helps you get around the, the Bene Gesserit trying to get a hold of one and then always flipping to advisors so that they don't ever lose it. Um, but yeah, so we've got here is the Holtzman engine, which um, starts with the uh, 
the guild, and uh, we've got the uh, breeding program that starts with the Bene Gesserit, and it triggers if the uh, leaders are the same gender in a battle, so kind of a funny thing for that. They're trying to uh, not have men killing women and women killing men. Uh, you've got dump boxes with the Harkonnen loyalty with the, the uh, Atreides, uh, test Mashad with Moritani. I'm not sure what that is. Pharmaceuticals with uh, Ikaz. And then uh, Pyretic Conscience with the Emperor. I'm not sure what that is either. So um, you tell me in the comments. What are those things? Uh, but yeah, the quality is great. So if you want to expand on the tech token idea and play around with some new effects, um, this is a great thing, and I, I highly endorse it. The quality of these is great. I think if you had these and the regular ones kind of sitting on the table, you'd be hard-pressed to tell the difference. You'd have to really look close and go, oh, wait a minute. These 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 ones with the punch board, are, uh, they don't have the little icon, so it's a little bit different. So, yeah, the icons are pretty good. Um, this, he also offers a slightly different version of it. Uh, he's got the plexiglass ones, and these, you might note, are jumbo size, so they're much bigger, um, but he's also done it where he's got uh, different ones on each side, so you would basically um, choose which ones you're going to have in the game. You could have some crazy effect where they flip. That might be fun to play around with, so uh, it comes with uh, these right in here, so you've got uh, six of them, so different ones, so if you were going to use the originals, uh, so they don't appear on the same one. So you get the Highliners on that one, the Axolotl Tanks on that one, Spice Production on that one. So you could just use the original three. And if you want to use the, the extra two that I think could probably be in the Quisots Hatterack Edition, or I'd love to see them offered officially, the tariffs and the miniaturization. Um, so you can get them all in with the Jumbo. If those are the only ones you're going to use, you've got the option, of course, for the Harkonnen or the Trades, uh as as another option. Uh, and again, I wouldn't have probably wouldn't have more than five, um, but with six, maybe you can. I mean, you could have. That means that two different factions could have three, uh, and though that might be fun, might speed up the game. So, uh, what do I think of these? I think they're fantastic, and I highly recommend them. So, I think you should. Um, Check these out on that Etsy page and uh, pick them up. I think they're great. Um, and you have the option. You can get the smaller ones. Uh, they're they're very good quality. I really like how they, how they look. They feel good. Um, the color is great on them. The details are great. And, uh, and these are good as well. Um, yeah, I think there's it's like stickers on here, at least on one side. Um, so, yeah. I think I would probably want the jumbo ones, but I would want them to have the uh, the generic back on there. So and it would only be one, but I only need the five. <laughs> so that was going to be my special request. So I'll reach out to him and see if I can't twist his arm to get uh, to get that. Uh, and he may just offer it as a set. The Jack Reed, a recommended set of uh, tech tokens. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that plays out. I will say that. Uh, this package that he sent me contained a lot of other stuff. So there's going to be some more reviews. I'm just going to break them up into the different types of things that you can get. Uh, look for those. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think of them from the video. Uh, these have been out for a little bit, a little while. So if you've picked them up, let me know what you think, if you had a chance on there. Uh, I think he knows that I have an extra large playmat. I like everything to be bigger. Um, I don't know that's necessarily why I offered these. I do like the bigger ones. I think it is fun. It's a little more in your face. Um that somebody's got them, uh, easier to see, especially if you're spread out, uh, as we tend to be uh, when we play it in real life in my house. Um, so yeah, there you have it. That's it. Go go get this. It's a great uh, Etsy expansion. Very exciting. I think the, all, all the new stuff will, will mix things up in an interesting way, and you can basically... Uh, pick and choose which which of these tech tokens you want to have in play. Maybe do them randomly with the smaller ones, of course, because you have the generic. Uh, it's easier to mix that up, although it's not hard to randomize the double one. So that's not <laughs> it's not a critical issue. There you have it, everybody. Thanks for watching. 
and we'll see you again soon.